Good morning, good morning, Catherine Storing here. I am super excited. It is almost Turkey Day. Thank you so much for coming in. If you're watching on the replay, welcome, welcome. This is a quick scope. Hey, Jenny, my sister, how are you, how are you? So nice to see you. This is my brine because if the question is to brine or not to brine, I always choose to brine. How are you? Nice to see you. So I am brining. Hey, Nancy, thank you for coming in. I am feeling almost 100%. I am not 100, but I'm pretty close. Hey, yeah, it is delicious. I am so excited. Hey, guys, good morning, good morning. Yes, I am off today. I got some work done this morning, but I am taking sort of today off. There will be some work tonight, of course. <laughs> hey, hey, good morning. What do you guys do? Do you guys brine? I am getting my, my hot part of the brine ready. My turkey is rinsed, ready to go, so I can brine it for about 24 hours for tomorrow. Thank you so much for sharing on Twitter, Jenny. Really appreciate that, guys. Um, my name is Catherine Storing, and I usually scope about fashion, style, and confidence, but today I'm scoping about brining because I love me some Thanksgiving, and I wanted to ask you, what do you guys do for uh, with your turkey do you guys brine and do you know what a brine is this is my brine and that is a big chunk of ginger that i'm using and those are peppercorns and that is hey dr mac thank you for coming in that is vegetable stock uh, brown sugar kosher salt and um what else do i have in there i think that's about it so uh, I thought I did that. Oh, I did turkey. Oh my gosh. You know what? I, I was thinking of doing that. I thought you are right, Jenny. I meant, That's what I meant to do. That's exactly what I meant to do. And I did turkey. That is so funny. Thank you, honey. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Um, so I am following in um, Alton Brown recipe for brining and it's super easy to do. I, and I am totally in love with it. It tastes amazing. It's super, super easy to do. So my question is, do you guys brine or you don't brine at all? Do you know what a brine is? This is my brine right now. This is just a quick scope to talk about brining for Thanksgiving, for tomorrow. So what do you guys do? Obviously, I brine. This is my my third year or my fourth, my third year brining, actually. And it makes a huge difference. It, it makes the turkey very, very tender. And also, it changes the color to a really, really pretty, a nice um a uh, nice uh, color to it, like a nice pinkish color. You don't brine, but you do baste a lot. That's awesome. Yeah, that makes a big difference too. So I do that. I baste a lot, but I also brine for at least 24 hours. So when my brine is done in about half an hour, uh, my brine, I will be able to start brining about 12.30. And that's when I think I'm going to put my turkey in tomorrow, around 12.30 time. Hey, Wilma, thank you for coming in. Do you brine? Um, tap on that screen let me know if you're liking my brine but also do you do you brine your own turkey my husband is the chef and I am the cleanup committee oh that is a nice committee to be in I am the chef here uh, and hopefully I will not have to clean up but I actually I do the dishes as I'm cooking I do not like to have any dirty dishes so I will start the cooking today thank you so much for the hearts thank you for coming in I really appreciate that and if you feel that others can benefit from my brine and this quick scope please um, invite your followers. It's super easy. It's super easy to, to brine, actually. You can just Google that, uh, Philip. You can check um, uh, Alton Brown, like the Food Network has an amazing um, selection of brines, and I found a really easy one from uh, Alton Brown. So what I'll do is, I'll actually, I'll tweet the link. Um, it's super easy. It's just amazing. I had all the ingredients already because I knew I would need a lot of uh, vegetable stock. Uh, yeah, no turkey hearts because I didn't I didn't do Thanksgiving. I thought if I did turkey, I would get turkeys, but actually I have to do hashtag Thanksgiving. So for the next scopes, I will make sure to do that. Thank you so much. I can't believe that turkey does not give you turkey hearts. But that's okay. Hearts are hearts. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am on the 400,000 heart club. That happened last night. We celebrated. We danced. It was so exciting. It was so awesome. I was super, yeah, well, my, it was exciting. I was giddy. I was dancing. Uh, it was awesome. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. It was awesome. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Thank you so much for your help as well. It was awesome. It just feels amazing to be able to be part of this community and share with you guys um, just what I love doing. And now I'm just sharing my brine. So um, since it sounds like many people don't know what brining is or don't do it, I am going to tweet 
the um, the link that I found for Alton Brown. Everything that I need for cooking, if I'm not sure, I just Google it, and most of the time I pick the uh, his recipes because they're really awesome. So this is just um, gonna cook for maybe for another 15 minutes, and all I have here is brown sugar, kosher salt, vegetable stock. You can use um, uh, chicken stock too, but I'm uh, I don't and peppercorns and he asked for candy ginger and I thought well if I ever have candy ginger it lasts like five seconds because I love it so much so I actually decided to use real ginger I peeled it and I smashed it a little bit and I put it in the water and it tastes already it tastes amazing that's not even the flavorful stuff um, uh, because I actually only eat turkey um, I only eat meat on Thanksgiving so I'm actually kind of like um, uh, vegetarian I don't eat meat I eat fish only so that's why I do it but you can use chicken stock I just I prefer I prefer um, vegetable and they actually have turkey stock which is awesome I didn't even know that so I use vegetable stock and turkey stock now that I think about it and that was really cool um, so yeah so that's what I'm doing for the brine the aromatic um, spices are sage and allspice and cinnamon and you put all that together and you put it on a, on a bucket and I have my bucket right here I washed it already but I'm actually that's the bucket that I'm gonna be using and that's how you put everything in but I'm not putting everything directly on the bag I'm gonna use these guys I'm gonna use the oven bags and I'm gonna do two of them and that's how I'm gonna line the bucket with this I have two of them I'm gonna line the bucket with these two bags put the turkey in there and he is beautifully resting right now let me just show you right here how, how he is look how beautiful um he's a little he's a little one he's only thir a 13 pounder 13 pound uh just 13 pounds 13.4 actually um that's the turkey resting in oh awesome you're also resting that's so good but he's resting on um apples um cider vinegar that's what he's resting on right now um apple cider vinegar and you are cooked. Oh, I'm sorry that you're tired, Wilma. I am well rested and ready to go today for sure. Uh, so he's resting on apple cider vinegar. Yeah, it's really, it works. It just makes a big, big difference. So I rinsed the turkey. I rinsed the innards. I put a lot of apple cider vinegar and then um, I added some more and it's resting on that. 20 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of turkey. I, um, I don't have that many people coming. Actually, I have more people coming for dessert. So I have, I have, I'm hosting dinner and that's going to be intimate. Um, and then for dessert, I open it up to a whole bunch of people. So I'm making my pies. I'm making my legendary international renowned pecan pies. And I will actually scope that process because I combined two recipes and they are to die for. So I'm doing that this afternoon. They are so easy to do, but they're super good. Usually 12 people, wow. Yeah, so you need that big turkey. Because the thing with turkeys is that they have a big carcass, a big, big car carcass, and there's not that much meat. So I think 20 pounds should do the trick, Philip. Yes, well, my, I will totally scope uh, me making the, uh, the pies. I'm already throwing the, um, the filling, because I could make the fill, I can make the, um, the crust but it's way too much work so I actually make my own filling and then buy really good crust from um, Trader Joe's so I buy it from Trader Joe's or Whole Foods they have the best crust and I will do that I'm also making my apple pies so I'm making four pies two pecan pies two apple pies and I'm making my own whipped cream I'm making my own whipped cream and um, that's the only way that I do it I, I don't believe in um, having the canned stuff yeah yeah, I love Trader Joe's. They're awesome. They are going to try making a pecan pie today for the first time. Oh, awesome. Philip, if you want to watch my my scope about making pecan pie, I think it's, I might help you because I have, I've been doing this for so long. I have a system. I have a process and they're super delicious, like amazingly delicious. So make sure that if you want to do that, watch the scope. Uh, it won't be very late actually. So I'm going to get, once I finish brining, hey health coach. Thank you for coming in. Once I finish brining the turkey, I might start doing the uh, I might start doing uh, the pies between you and Doc. What is Doc doing? I I, I don't think he's did he scope this morning. I didn't see him this morning, so I don't know what happened. Thank you guys for the hearts. Really appreciate that, and thank you for you guys that were watching last night. I did make it to four hundred thousand, so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. He's always oh he's always talking about food. He is always comparing comparing things. Um, Philip, was he late? He must have been late because I did not see him at the regular hour. 
And I actually, I slept in myself today because it was, it was awesome. I was really tired. I stay up late watching TV with my daughter and we just crashed pretty late last night. But we slept in and feeling really awesome today. He was on for a short time. I didn't catch it then. Oh, okay. He must have been because I know he's traveling with his family. Um, so I knew he was going to scope at different times today. So that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. That's my brine. I'm going to let it cool off in a little bit. And then I'll start the maybe. If I can get my daughter to hold the phone, maybe I'll do that. Been a while since I scope. Yeah, Philip, what's the deal with that? You got to scope. Uh, yes, spice, spice, spice. Wilma, don't worry. I am going to be doing that. I'm going to scope the whole process. And I think you're going to like it. It's going to be awesome. I can't believe I was not following you before. I just fixed that. I am following you now. And thank you so much for the heart. So I will scope about the pecan pies. And hopefully, I'll do hashtag pecan pies, hashtag Thanksgiving. And maybe I'll get pies hearts that would be awesome if i get pie hearts that would be really cool um yeah that would be awesome so thank you guys for the hearts my favorite oh pecan pies those are my favorite too misha those are my my favorite i love pecan pies and the way that i make them i make it differently just because i'm more health conscious and because i just found a really good way that works and people love my pies they are like i said internationally renowned i get requests for that if i go to anybody's house i um i, I bring it i have actually done it for sugar be done <laughs> sugar be done actually i don't use that much sugar actually i'll trust me i'm gonna scope that process and you're gonna see my my uh, my ingredients and you're gonna be impressed it's actually pretty healthy it's not super healthy it still has quite a few calories, but I tried to use really good one. Okay, awesome, Ilma. I will um, I will tweet it, and then I'll I'll, I'll say, uh, hopefully you have your no notifications on, so when I'm on, you'll be able to to hear it. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for pecan pie for sure, for sure. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'll try to watch it, but it's my twentieth and today, so we can. Oh, awesome! Congratulations, Philip. Why didn't you say that? That is amazing. That is a huge accomplishment. That is awesome. That is something to be grateful and thankful for. That is amazing. That is super awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations, Phil. Yes, healthier pecan pie and it's delicious. It is delicious. I got. I have my secret. I have two secret ingredients, and they're super awesome. Like healthier and tasty beyond belief so i will scoop that for sure thank you guys for the hearts thank you for hanging out and i will see you later this afternoon okay thank you hey nancy thank you so much for being here uh, make sure that you come back for um the pecan pie um for the pecan pie um tutorial broadcast whatever you want to call it okay wilma thank you guys see you soon bye